Welcome to Higher Calling Wildlife. This is Chester Moore. There are great white sharks on the Texas Gulf Coast. No, I'm not crazy. I've been saying it for years and I finally had my proof. So, before we get into this, please subscribe to the channel Chester Moore, wildlife journalist and investigator. Click on that subscribe link. You help me share the message about wildlife conservation, help promote our investigations, and also help raise awareness to the kids we're helping through our Higher Calling Wildlife program. Now, great white in the Texas Gulf. In 2005 or so, I wrote an article for Tide Magazine, and I said that great whites were in the Gulf. I showed some historical proof even in Texas waters, Florida waters, and I said that a friend of mine had encountered a great white in the Gulf of Mexico on a fishing charter, and there was some blowback. Some people said, oh, there's no great whites here. There might have been a few a long time ago, but they're not in the Gulf, blah, 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 blah. Funny thing was, I won an award that year, first place magazine article from the Texas Outdoor Writers Association, so ha. But I got vindication because a wonderful organization called O-Search put satellite transmitters in great white sharks, and they tagged one named Acadia. And Acadia, in March 2021, pinged off of an oil rig 120 miles off the Texas coast, proving that great white sharks do come into Texas waters. If Acadia ping, and there are plenty of great whites that don't have tags, how many are showing up out there? But it's not just the Texas thing we're talking about here. There have been numerous great whites all over the Florida coast, all around Panama City. There's even been a couple caught in the Panama City area on surf rods. How cool would that be to catch a great white shark on a surf rod? There have been a couple of incidents with the boats where they were like messing with trolling motors and stuff. There's one showed up off the coast of Mississippi. Great whites are in the Gulf of Mexico and there is also quite a bit of historical precedence for this. In 1950, within a three-week span, there were three great whites caught off the coast of Port Aransas, Texas. We have the records of that. And from 1979 uh, to 1981, there were surveys done by the National Marine Fisheries Service showing that 35 great whites were caught in Florida waters as bycatch of the Japanese longline fishery. True story there. So what happens is that much of the gill netting and all this slaughter fest type of netting was banned about 30 years ago. And great whites take 10 plus years for sexual maturity. So a lot of the juvenile great whites would go in the shallow waters, go into the Gulf of Mexico, get caught in nets and killed. Now, for the most part, those nets are gone. And now these whites that are born on the East Coast are coming in and we're seeing these great whites move into the Gulf of Mexico. It is a conservation success story. So there are great whites in the Gulf of Mexico. They've even showed up in my home waters of Texas. Very interesting stuff. So what do you think about great whites in the Gulf of Mexico? Have you had a great white encounter in the Gulf of Mexico? If you have, let us know about it. Or maybe you've even seen a great white in the Pacific like I have or in the Atlantic. Let us know your cool great white story because believe it or not, Jaws is alive and well and increasing in the Gulf of Mexico.